working on making this tank like the one that Stu Mashwitz made but I'm doing a slightly different technique it doesn't involve beam or any loud hard drives that are spinning all of a sudden so I need to make an expression and I need to make a new I'll make a new solid uh, actually I don't want to make a solid I want to make a new shape layer not a mask on my null Leave it like that. I'm going to apply Saber to it. And there we go. Now, um, where's the mask on here? Customize core layer masks. I don't have anything on there just yet, but I will draw one in real quick like. That was a shape. Because I forgot to hit this button. That looks more like a mask. And because we're in an active camera view, that's where that's going to be. Okay. I'll bring that in a little bit, maybe. No. Yes. Kind of. Close enough. Alright. So let's try this here. Um, go back reference one of my old tutorials here one with this lady uh, that could be the one that we get it's good enough let's open up an expressionist window Throw that in there. All right, I'm not going to be using a lot of these. Points equals new array. I am actually going to. What am I going to do? Um, how do I want to do that? I'll make it points, but we're going to do equals, and I'm going to start an array, and I'm just going to pick a couple of these just to see what we have going on. Uh, two, comma three, comma of I don't know four. That's enough. For now, we'll get some kind of weird triangle, and um, yes, all right. So point stop push. None of this stuff needs to exist. So I don't really know why I grab all that, but hey, what are you gonna do? And points equals point stop length. P equals that. C random. Otherwise, push the points. actually not going to work as well as I thought it would. Not for that, anyway. Um, I need to make a loop for i equals zero. I never remember if that's supposed to be comma or semicolon. I think it's semicolon, actually. No, I, I don't remember. Well, i is less than, I'm just going to copy this and dump that line because I don't need another variable. i plus plus, yeah, let's do this this way. For each one of those points we're going to get, um, I guess we'll set p, no. I'm going to have to give that, I don't remember. That would be helpful. The value, points dot push value. Points offset. Not just on points. I don't remember how I gave that. What does it create path array take? P dot push. Points. Okay, 
this is going to take points to that point. Okay. Let's path that points, but I'm not giving it that. I'm not taking points like that. I am taking actual points and giving it to it. Still drinking coffee. It's only 3.30. Got a late start today. Just had to do something in the morning. So we're still working on that coffee. This is the part where I sit and stare at the screen for a little bit. I'm trying to think of what I need to do. I need to go through, okay, so each one of these things I need to do. Okay, I'm not typing in here. That bug is annoying. Points. I. No, that's not what I need to do. Oh, actually, yeah, I do. Points I is the one that we're going to look for, though. So we're going to get... Um, was I pushing that to the array? That's why. Okay, yeah. Let's let's do that part. P equals new array. I think it has to be capitalized. Yeah. This is half the reason why I make tutorials, because then I can go back and reference my own tutorials to remember how I did something that was obscure. Alright, so p dot push. Right, and that's just another thing. Okay, p dot push. Come on. Some kind of after effects limitation that when you come back, you can't actually be on the same text box. If it's like an extension or something like that, so that's fun. Um, p dot push this comp dot layer points i um, dot position. I think that should work. I forget. Oh, what is that? Um, I need to give it... That's getting mass path, that's why. I need to... I don't know, it's getting value of that. Yeah, okay, so that's, that's the position. Yeah, okay. Should work, hopefully. P dot push this comp dot layer points I dot position. So we're going to go through this thing. We're going to grab the position of each one of these things in the array. I is 0 and less than points dot length, so 3, so that would be 2. So 0, 1, and 2. Okay. I plus plus. Three every time it's the loop. We end up out of here. We get our P, P array containing all the positions of those things. Create path. Okay. Let's go into this mask. Mask path. Add that to that, and we have an error. What is that? Expected colon. Okay, so these are supposed to be colons, which I always forget. Which is which for that. Okay. Can I add that back in, please? Argument one to create path must be two numbers. Argument one. Remember that. Let's look up the documentation. After effects create path. Uh, da, 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 da. Is it this one? No. Uh, you know what? Let's do it expression. Expressions.ae enhancers.com. Yes. Create path. Find it. Create path. What does it take? What does it take? Ah, come on. That should be... Uh, 
Oh, I wonder if I have to do dot value. that in. Why does that not work? Why for you no work? Come on. This is where text layers are your friend. Got a text test layer. Drag this down here. Source text, paste that in, and then get out of here for a second. Um, actually, let's just grab this. Where's it at? List methods and properties. Add that to source text. Uh, let's do that. And P will be our object. So we'll just do MMP. 0, 1, and 2. Okay. That would be the problem then. This comp.layer. Position one five so if I had it position four is it still zero one and two? Why? Turn that off, get rid of that. Um if I turn this off, do I get a layer control? I should get layers, right? No. Why am I just getting it seems like it's something dumb here. This is a weird bug. Okay, points equals that. P equals a new array. P dot push. List of things for P. I mean, I can see if I listed it as points, but P, why is P? Uh, all right, let's try something else out. P dot push zero. Why is it still zero, one, and two? doesn't even exist. Okay, that does throw her. What if I just did this? Okay. How is me adding zero to it doing that? That makes absolutely no sense. Zero, 1 and 2, that would make sense because it would be 0, 1 and 2. But just 0 should be 0, 0, 0. Pushing is pushing onto the end of array, right? Am I going crazy? I 
items to add to the array. Okay. Try it yourself. Um, let's try this version A. Zero, one, and two. Why does P contain zero, one, and two? What does P contain if I do that? Nothing. Okay. This dot name. This is driving me nuts. Why is this not working? Why does it always end up in zero, one, and two? That was just for shits and giggles. That's probably gonna crash it. Yep, I just went into an infinite loop. Well, oh, good. My caps lock trick actually worked on that. Nope, maybe it didn't. Come on. I don't remember when I saved last. Come on. Okay. Predict some boring live streams in my future. Some very boring live streams. Okay, come on. Tank auto save. Hey, maybe that has something. Something for me. Be nice if I don't have to set up a text deal again. Well, looks like that's not going to be the case. All right. Again, do some test text. Oh, yeah, actually, put this back to list methods and properties. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to list P out. Just do P. Why is that? No, oh, still in caps lock. P. What in all of the hell? Okay, so I'm, uh, what? Am I going crazy here? Why was that looping through P then and giving me completely different I don't even... Okay, well, whatever. So that seems to actually work. That's my problem. I need to two-comp those. That's, that's what the deal is. I'm giving it three numbers instead. All right, well... Uh, dot value... Should just be able to no, okay, I have to dot value. Dot value dot two comp. Zero comp, zero comp, zero. Here we go. An error. What is that? Is it my two comp is going on the thing. Am I missing? Wait, what am I missing? Oh, well, that's why I had one at the end. I was wondering how that auto completed itself. Okay, now what? Two comp is not a function. Uh, no, it's because I'm using value. I think first. No.
to comp is a function. I just never remember how to properly use it. I don't think that that'll work. Does that work? Really? Okay. Paste that. Okay, what we got now? Create path must be two numbers. I must be doing something funky in here. Um, am I still pushing that? Okay, well, let me um, let's copy this guy back up here. Expressionist. Yeah, I'm not going to create a path here. I'm just going to show a P. I still don't understand why that doesn't do. Less than p dot length I plus plus. Why am I doing this here? Let's do it here. I plus plus. Um, text equals that text. Does Don Equals work on this thing? I think it does. We'll see. We're always testing new stuff here. Text dot equals um, P I. Respect on what? Seven? Oh. Well, that usually helps if you put one of those there. Usually. Okay, where did I not? Oh my god, what is going on here? Some text error. I guess dot equals does not work. Um, what is my one method use here? forget. Oh, I just do the old school equals. Text equals text plus that. And actually I want to do plus slash n. That is a new line character in case you're wondering. So that should give it to us. I need to do it like this, I think. Single quotes? New line not working. Okay. Do I have to just do it separately? No. It's in. Why is that? Sometimes I hate auto-completing those things. Alright. Text plus not plus new line. Slash the wrong direction. No, I did. Divide by zero. So because it 
it's not giving it to me as a string now. Let's do this. Is that a valid numeric result? Adding those in there, change that to that degree. That doesn't make any sense. Zero. Just curious. I don't understand why it's still giving me three digits because this should not be three digits. I do love that in After Effects you can just evaluate to whatever you want after you've already evaluated something. It's very weird, but I'll take it. Layer one. What do we get? It's going to be this layer. Layer 2. I don't understand what is going on here. Messing something up with two comp. I always feel like I do something funky there. Two comp point. Alright, two three dimensional. It should return. Two dimensional array. give me a 3D point? Is it just like the other ones ignore that third value? Layer new null object. Nine sixty five forty. Okay, yeah. What I want though now is layer 3. Let's see what happens. This is kind of weird. Maybe I can just drop off the X character. I don't... I mean the Z character. Eight fifty one, let's just say eight fifty one's close enough. Eight fifty one four twenty six. And if I turn this on Okay. I guess that's all that really matters. So I just need to drop off that character. That's very weird. I never knew it still passed the third one. I wonder if that has to do with because there's a camera in the scene. just going to change that, but it's still going to be in the same, relatively the same space. Okay, well, whatever. I never, uh, it's weird. I never thought that it did that. I thought it always gave you a 2D point back. Learn something new. Learn something new every day whenever you mess up the worst. That's when you find something new. Alright, well, let's, uh, still don't know why that won't show me in my array in an order, though. That's kind of strange. Okay, um, Let's move that. Let's take this. No, I want 
the second number. Um, I need the easiest way to get that. Uh, I can just do it. Yeah, all right. This should be... Let's, uh, let's leave that there just in case we need to do further testing. Let's move to the bottom. Because I really don't want to upset the order of these things. Yeah, that's right. This one into here. Okay, two comp. Can I just do that? Now we're gonna do something weird. P dot push. This block of junk, comma. Almost the same block of junk. The one on it. Just like quickly threw that together, so let's see. Hopefully, we'll get lucky. Okay, well, let's do this. Go back into our point here. Show me that. Okay, and then show me that. Okay. Well, um, we went to two really quickly, too. Why is that not? Let me do that as an array. That would be why. Figured that part out. I don't need these in between because the whole thing is the array that I'm passing it, not just that. Okay, back to here. Boom. Okay, so that's the angle of that stuff that we're doing. So let's see here. Um, I have saber on. Alright. What does that look like? Make sure what did I do? Two, three, and four. Two, three, and four. That's where those actually belong. Nope. Okay, got more figuring to do. I will be right back. Mm, all right, got some water now. So now it's officially the afternoon. Ah, all right. Now, I don't know why this doesn't, it says like, oh, wait a minute, oh, no, no, that's the wrong layer. Get out of here. Get out of here with that trash. Okay, um, I don't know why that this is displaying all the way over there, and I don't know if it's because of this camera, maybe? If I turn that off, we will turn, oh, that is, that. wait. some of this up. Like position, equal to that. And so here we'll have position zero. And then here we'll have position one. Should at least make that a little more clear. There. Why? Let's go back to uh, one view. Let's go to one view for a second. That shouldn't have to be 3D. Ah, that would be why. So it is there. It's just not showing up right. Okay.
Okay, that's a little better. Now, the other problem we're having here is that these are actually in those. It's actually the middle here, so why does that only go into these? Why does it go into this corner? That doesn't make any sense. Are these anchor points off funky? 50, 50, 50. I wonder if I have to subtract. If I need to subtract 50 from that. Uh, minus 50, comma, 50. Close bracket. Nope. Wait. Minus 50. Oh, minus 50. Minus 50 plus 50? Nope. Maybe it's 100. Why would, I don't know why it would be that way, though. Minus 100, 0, let's just say. That's very weird. I'll figure that out in a bit. Let me, uh, let me try to actually figure out what nulls go here. So this is going to be the fun part to try to match Stu's thing because these nulls are jumbled. Very jumbled. What is soloed? This is what these nulls look like. So. Yeah. Uh, the controller must have moved back. Oh, because I had moved it back in my other version. Before it crashed on me. So, close up my expressions too. Make sure I don't duplicate any older stuff. That's our main controller null in the middle, so let's give that a green color, I guess, all up. Okay, so, I don't know how these are arrayed out, because they're done with a cloner. And part of me is starting to think that maybe I should group them together in some fashion, in cinema first. Almost looks like... They go in reverse order, maybe? Nope. Well, I should be able to do this back panel, because these are all like that one, 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 and that one. Alright, so that's the back panel ones. Let's give them a color. That. Drag these up here. And see from the front if I can figure out an order of these guys. So there's that one. Oops, don't move it. So it should go from nine. I'm going to write this down. Where is my. Uh, there you are. Field notes, guys. Don't leave home without them. Field notes. This here is zebra pin. Could use our 50 cal pen. Actually, you know what? Let's do it. I'll use it enough. 50 cal pen it is. I used to use this one when writing checks to the IRS. But now I do it all electronically, so not as satisfying. Uh, okay. Number nine, we'll say that that's the first one that we want. So nine. Then we'll command up until we get to the other corner. Fifteen. And then, okay, hopefully... That one, that one should be next. 15, 16. I think that's the next one. Four. Uh, I mean, I 
guess I could just try to select things like that. Four, th not three. That's two. I'm getting the index numbers. Um, come on, I want to select that one. Yeah, whatever. Number seven. I put in the number of the freaking nulls, didn't I? God damn it. Alright, um, 15. That should be 5, not 15. Well, that's helpful. 5. 16 is 6, so that worked out. Okay, 4, 2, and 7, those are correct. Alright, 4, 2, 7. This one is next. 8. Show me one left, which is 4. Uh, man. Okay, so four was three. Okay. It's a problem when you have two sets of numbers and you're looking only in one spot. All right, I think that's right. So let's go down here. So if you haven't guessed, this is our array of those index values and putting them in order should give us a polygon, technically. So nine, five, I'm just gonna do that. Five, six, comma, three, comma, Two comma seven comma eight comma four. Enter. I'm missing one. How am I missing the first one we started with? Let's see. I do have a camera in here, so maybe we can. Very interesting, for sure. Okay, maybe I should do the numbers again. Although, that doesn't look like any of that is planar. Which it should be. Let's try it again. That is nine. That's five. Six. Let's just double check on the order that I have. Three would be that. I think I know what's happening. Two is that. Yeah. Seven. Eight. Four. And then back to nine. Well, that's one thing I need to do. Um, Got to do that. Let's go back to nine. Of course, that doesn't look like it helped very much. And I think the problem is that that anchor point is at 50 50. I wonder though if I, ch I feel like if I change this, it's going to mess things up. But let's try this. That does look better. Actually, that looks perfect. Sweet. Okay, that makes sense. All right, so all of these anchor points and all of these things need to be set to zero, zero. Cinema gives you 50, 50, one, zero, zero. Okay, so that's that. Now that those are done for now, um, I'm not going to look at those again until later because I need to know what the top one will be. But Okay, so the next thing i got to do, so now that this one mask works, is that I'm going to name this backplane so that I know that that's what that is. And then I'm going to duplicate this mask. Uh, you know what, I'll do the top now so I can figure out what those are. So. We've kind of replaced doing the complicated, I don't know if you guys watched the behind the scenes for that tank thing, but we've kind of replaced the complicated, excuse me, um, put it all in, put it all in, draw a beam between them, link them up with the expressions and whatever, 
um, with a find your null and uh, make your plane kind of deal. Now obviously this is a little less, um, I guess, modifiable as Stu's version was because he had some cool glows and different things I could shake between um, different pieces and whatever. We couldn't really do that because things won't break apart because if you wiggle these nulls around, which you can certainly do, they're going to um, still stay connected. So you're going to wiggle both pieces at once. But this is slightly less intensive. Um, obviously it wouldn't, his wouldn't have worked this way, so I'm not trying to make this a replacement. Uh, right back! So my daughter is inside having a pizza party with my wife. Anyway, um, <laughs> what I uh, was trying to say was uh, this is in, in no way intended to replace Stu's method because it wouldn't have worked for his thing. Um, but this is another way of achieving a similar effect that may or may not be easier. So let's continue on. Um, let's take our top view here and let's turn these guys back on and figure out, okay, all of them please. And figure out which ones of these are the corner or thing. That's kind of odd. Why does that look to be not... Oh, please tell me that doesn't affect that too. Uh, it shouldn't. Okay. So why do those pieces back here look like... This thing isn't rotated, is it? Did this get rotated? No. Uh, hmm. Don't exactly know why that would be like that. Oh. Okay, so that's going to be interesting. These must be rotated in different angles, and so now I can't exactly tell where the tops are. Yeah, because that would be there. So this one's here, and this one's here. So these two are the top ones, I believe, right? Yeah, those are the two top corners. I think at a cinema or something, I need to rotate these guys all back. Actually, I think if I rotate them all... This, this is a gamble. <laughs> I think if I rotate all of these back to zero now that they're in the corner... It shouldn't matter. If I had rotated them before I did the anchor point move, I think, and then switching that back, they would rotate and then the anchor would move. But if I move the thing to the corner and then I rotate them all, they should all go back to where they belong. Yes, that looks way more symmetrical and like this thing would actually go. So like this and that are the top and this and that are also the top. So let's draw a new one this way. Um, whatever number this guy is. All right, so this is gonna be our top polygon. So the top will start with, what number is that? So if you select one of these and hit command up down, it should take you right to it. 29, 20, right layer index. Index this time, not the null number. Okay, uh, whichever one that is. 11, can't really color these anymore now that I'm thinking about it because they're gonna belong to multiple pieces, so there's no real ability to do that here. Um, and then this guy, which is two. And then this one over here, which is seven. All right, so I think now all of the back plane ones for the top can be hidden. Uh, I'll just leave them up. It's not, it's not a lot of stuff back there. It's the front ones that are going to get complicated as we move along, but let's see. Back to the bottom. Back plane top. Change this guy here to 29. Let's go back to the end here too. 29, 11, 2, 7, 29. Don't forget to go back to it. We're gonna have to change this, bring this glow down just a bunch. There we go. 
that'll work for now. Um, I'll push this active camera in a little bit too. Not that much, not that much. Track it down to the side, all right. Um, let's see, what face should I do next? Well, now this is gonna be where I'm gonna go back into cinema to see kind of what we're gonna do. I should actually be able to, if I think about it, this might work. Um, if I go in here, the object selection mode, yeah, these should still be the same numbers. So if I click this one, is that one? Is that really one? All right, so if I do one, it's gonna record, uh, let's see, man, if I could do this in some, Yeah, in the future, I think if I rename these according to what they were, it'd be a lot easier. It would still be kind of a pain, though, but... Alright, so... It... Damn, if I hadn't had an old zero or two. It'd be easier if I could... Yeah, okay, let's see. Maybe I'll... Hmm. This is one of those moments where it might be faster if you just scrap what you did and start over. Let's do this. Uh, I'm not going to scrap what I did exactly, but I am going to rearrange these back to their original numbering. Which means I'm going to have to do the top and bottom stuff again, or the back and top things again, but um, if I put this here. Do zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. These are all in a completely different order, so let's just do this. Um, I thought they were in order. Oh, they are. Must have really messed it up in here. Yeah. 36, 27, 26 was here too. 26, 27, uh, 3, 4, uh, 10, 11, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, I think that's all of them. Okay, so if I take this cloner one down here in the bottom because that's really the null that, that that null is in the center for us to um, animate the whole model with basically so what I'm going to do so all of these are all offset by one now so I'm going to go in here and let's try this I'm going to click this guy, find out what null that guy is. So that's 36. So I'm going to do a new backplane. Let's start another page on here. Let's go here. All right, so that's 36. 36. 11. I'm going to write down the actual null names here, but when I put them in, I'm going to subtract. No, I'm going to add them. Add a number to it, I think. Whatever it was, I can't remember. 27, 26, 26, 3, 4. There might even be a better way to do this, but 16 and 15. Okay. Go back to the After Effects. Okay, so these are the actual null numbers those need to be for the back plane. Why am I opening that? I really just need the mask here. All right, back plane. All right. So null 16 is 17. So I just need to add one to all of these. So 37, 12. I think I should delete all this stuff too. 
28, 27, 4, 5, 17, 16, 37. Uh, let's see. I'm going to just turn this back one off. I don't know what that'll actually do yet, but. All right, we still have a back plane. So that's gonna work. That's gonna save us a ton of time at the end because now I don't have to deal with screwing around, screwing around with After Effects nulls. Um, all right, so the top, we'll just start here. So the top will be 26. Let me work this on my thing here, back top. All right, 26, 24, one, three. Four, one, and three. Okay, back into After Effects. Hey, don't you knock my pen over, booklet. Okay, add one to each, add one to each one of these guys. 27, 25, two, four, and 27. Okay, we're back to where we started. Nice. Okay, so we can duplicate this again, and we'll do um, we'll do the front, the control panel kind of area. Back in the cinema. Start it from here. One. Twenty-four. One twenty-four. Twenty-eight. Oh, do we not have one there? Okay, we do. 28, 32, 32. Come on. I need to be like select between objects or something. 31. Eight. Here. Oh, come on. Did I actually select? I think so. 10. Five. And back to one, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, our front one. Everything wants to roll on my desk. Stop. Okay. Um, front. It's two, comma twenty-five, comma twenty-nine, comma thirty-three, thirty-two, nine, eleven, and six. And what was the first one? Two. Sweet. So then we're gonna have a bunch of little ones too. If I do, actually, this could be. I can do like this. Okay. Let's do this left side. Uh, 5, 10, 13. 5, 10, 13. 19, 16. Come on. 19, 16. What is that corner? Front, I'll just call this left. I swear, man, Saber is an awesome plugin, so useful for things. Six, comma, ten, comma, thirteen. Oops, I stopped adding things to enough for the first one. 6, 10, 14, 20, 17, 5. I could really go back through here. Just for my sanity. Just 
for my sanity on this thing, I think what I'm going to do is take the null name. This is going to be slightly annoying. I'm going to take the null name here. This points dot. This points i um, plus one. And then bring this back to 36, 15, 16, what am I doing? Four, I'm going the right way. Hopefully I'm 26, 27, 11, 36. Plus this will make it easier because then I can just look at the numbers and, well, I mean, that's why I'm doing it, but it'll make it easier if I need to go back and fix something or do whatever, because then I can just see what they are. So like the front here is, I'm just going to rewrite the number string, but it'll be way easier. Uh, 1, 24, 28, 32, 31, 8, 10, 5. Yeah, I messed something up. 1, 24, 28, oh. So I have to put that plus in here. Plus 1. Top is 26, 24, 1, 3, 24. I also didn't, 26. I also didn't put the other number back in on that front one either, so that kind of messes up. Come one. Okay. Add, add one to this index value. Fixed as well. Plus one. Five, comma, ten, comma, thirteen, comma, nineteen, comma, sixteen, comma, four, comma, five. All right. Works pretty well. Now I can just put the numbers in and we'll just directly transcribe them so that'll work nicely. Um, this one's 32. This is the left side and that's right side. 32. Uh, we'll go around this way. 28. 27. As you can see, this is still quite a pain, so I can only imagine that Stu doing this, especially with things that are lying on the same plane, like these things in between. That must have been really fun. Really fun. Okay. Uh, 34. And back to 32. Okay. Let me write that in. Okay, that's not going to do that. Left. This is right. Open that up a little cleaner. Okay, 32, 28, so let me just type that, 27, 11, 22, 34, and 32. Other side, nice. All right, let's do uh, left inner, 13, 13, 10, 8, 12. 13, 10, 8, 12, and do the other one. 32, 34 from before, right? 33, 31. Huh. 32, 34, 33, 31. Okay. Left. Enter. Thirteen, ten, eight, twelve, thirteen. Okay, this is starting to get a good bit faster, so that's nice. Um, I'm just gonna do something. I'm gonna, oh, I'm working on here. Left enter, right enter. Just in case I ever have to reference that again for some reason. Up. 
32, 34, 33, 31, 32. Sweet. Okay, there's no pieces there, so let's do right front. Uh, 19, 13, 12, 18. 19, 13, 12, and 18, right? 18. That's the right front. Uh, it's, I mean, left front, rather. That's left front. Right front. Is this 18, I think? No, 34. That's right. 34. 22, 38, 34, 22, 38, 33, 34, 38, 22, no, or 22, 38, 22, 38, oh, I lost on that one, too many similar, 33, 33, okay, back to AE, um, let's see, Left, inner, let's do left, front. Open that up. Probably stop this here in a minute because I don't think you guys need to see me do this over and over and over again. 13, 12, 18, 19. Front. I'm sure all the fun and magic will happen while I'm away, but it's just a chance I'm gonna have to take. 34, 22, 38, 33, 34. Nice. Alright, I'm just gonna do this, jump back when we're done. See you soon. Alright, so here we are. We are done with this thing. Um, so I found out one thing. On some of these at least, probably all of them, you don't have to go back and put in the uh, the last number, or the first number again. And I think that's because by default, create path... Okay. I think that's by default, if you do create path, it actually will close the path. So that works good. If you turn that off, however, and I'm probably going to explore this for the actual tutorial, um, you can make it to where you don't double up some of these lines, I would imagine. So, let's zoom in on this guy. Actually, let's go back to a, an active view. One view. Um, let's turn that off. I don't really need the camera right now, and I'm going to open up the position. I'm going to bring it closer. Come on. Rotate it. Uh, let's rotate on the Y. And then down a little bit. If I turn off all of these nulls so that we don't see them anymore, because we don't need them. Well, we need them, but we don't want to see them. I don't know if that'll make this thing go any faster. Uh, I'd also like to just shy these things. Okay. Is that faster? Slower? No. Let's do a simple rotation, though. Let's see. Uh, I'm at, like, way high frames here. I don't know why that's there. I don't recall actually even hitting a marker. Um... 62 frames, let's go like 90. Let's do that and go around, I don't know. I don't know why I went that way. Let's go like negative 60. What's that? Is that where I started? That is where I started. Let's go from 60 to negative 60. How about that? On the plus side, this renders relatively quickly. Now, there's some cool stuff about stews that you don't get on here. You don't get like the cool points where they meet up, where like the beams meet up. Um, the way I've set this up, you can't really fade these back ones out. 
But we could do that with a little bit of expression magic, I would think. Um, I think he said he used the the, uh, the old Dan Eberts thing, I think, where if it's facing away, it's less visible. Um, we could figure that out probably by figuring out what these planes are on and what their kind of normal is. It might be a little bit complicated for just a normal tutorial that we would do, but maybe we'll figure that out. I would have to learn some stuff to figure that out. We'll do like uh, like Marge did in The Simpsons, where I will learn one lesson ahead, and then I'll teach you guys, and I'll look like I'm an amazing expert at it. But anyway, um, that's pretty neat, actually. That's pretty cool. Uh, I mean, it didn't really take me terribly long. I would imagine that would be a little quicker than the way Stu did it, only because it's not as uh, intensive to actually make the model. Um, setting it up was actually pretty quick once I did that, just picking out the null names and having making sure that they're in an order. In After Effects, so. Well, that's it. Um, I guess we'll probably do maybe this one for next week. I'm not sure. I might talk to Seb and see if we can combine on some kind of cinema uh, thing for this and how to make this model quicker or something like that. Because I'm sure there's better ways to do it than I did it. But that's going to be it. And uh, maybe at some point I'll actually get a stream going. And um, yeah. Still got to figure out a Twitch name because pretty much everything I would like to use is taken. So, all right, guys, um, that's it. I'm going to not ramble, and uh, I'll see you guys sometime whenever I post this. I don't even know. I think there's, I'll probably post this today, so it'll be Thursday. There'll be a tutorial tomorrow, and then this will probably be for next week or maybe the week after. So, all right, guys, see ya.